Hello, welcome to my presentation. I'm Homatayo Ajao Idris, a graduate of forestry and wildlife from the University of Ilori, Nigeria. I work as a graduate researcher and teaching assistant in the same institution. And I'm also the program coordinator of Sipsara Network in non government organization, which is committed to saving nature and empowering people, especially at the grassroots. My the title of my talk or my presentation is efficient for would use as a strategy to reducing household prayer on natural forest of given savanna zone of Nigeria. The principal of the investigator of the research is Dr. Fularomi Babalola, who is a professor in the same department and institution. So and he is the founder of the NGO of Safe Sarah Network. And thanks to the Rufo Foundation that provided research and grants for the research. Why the research? What justifies the research? Around the world, over 2 billion people rely on burning solid fuels such as wood, dung, crop residue, garbage, or coal for cooking, eating, and lighting. Generally, fuel would a source of indoor air pollution with serious health effects particularly on women and on small children. Inefficient cook stoves have been reported to cause air pollution, resulting in premature death of 600,000 of lives in Africa each year. And moreover, as by exploitation of woody species in the Savannah zone of Nigeria for domestic fuel is a threat to biodiversity loss. Because whatsoever, whatsoever threats in the ecosystem of our biodiversity also threaten their lives because they be forced to leave their ecosystem when their ecosystem is threatened. Objective of the study. The aim of the study is to understand the socioeconomic factors in selected rural community of Guinness, of Guinness Savannah zone of Nigeria that may affect adoption and utilization of efficient cook stove prior to its introduction. So our specific objective include investigate the type of fuel wood energy as well as the available clean alternative energy used by the household. What are the alternative energy? What are the fuel wood energy they use and what are the alternative energy they have? Determine the sources of fuel wood and frequency of collection by the household. Where do they get their fuel wood from? Is it from, is it actually from the wire or they buy with the money? Deduce the challenges and implications of where would energy use in your household. Seek consent to participation in awareness campaign leading to second stage of the project and to introduce the project. Methodology. Determine the, we determine the project location and responding, which is the given zone zone of Kwara State which a whole production and firewood collection by household is highly predominant. Identification and selection of the communities for the projects to so specific communities that we want to select for the projects out of all this from this very soon. Meeting with the community leaders, design the tool for the data collection, pretest of the drafted questionnaire, data collection, 74 women were sampled from the household in the three communities. This is a statistician and introduction of the project. The sampling population consists of 74 women, which was sampled, which were sampled from different three different communities. And that's those 74 women came from 74 households. So what are our results? From our findings, we could see that majority of the household, about 70.3% used the stone as their main cook stove. This was followed by traditional charcoal cook stove. None of the households use cooking gas and electric stove. From this result, it could be deduced that majority of the households use fair wood for cooking in their homes. Only, fair, only few use charcoal and kerosene while none use electric electricity and cooking gas. All the food eaten by the people, especially fruits, undergo cooking and take quite some time as well as biomass energy to cook. On the average, most of the food cook for as much as one or two hours. Hence, that means it requires a large quantity of firewood collection. About 1.1% of the sample women indicated that Women, that is, wives, are responsible for cooking in their respective household. 
This was followed by teenagers. So we also try to find out who are the people responsible for cooking in this household. So, so that we know our, the people we are going to focus on, who are the people that we are going to teach how to make use of this, how to utilize this improved cook stove. Then we find out that majority of people that cook, they are women, they are women. Now, the results, our results, this is the graphical representation, representation the bar charts of the results of the results. Assessment of the interest in improved cook stove, of their interest in improved cook stove. So we try to assess their interest in the improved cook stove prior to the introduction. So no, are they really interested in this? In this, in the introduction of this improved cook stove, before we introduce it to them, then we try to consider. We try to consider their view. Will there be any suggestion from them? Was there, are they eager to have it? So we try to ask questions about this too, and we find out that we are so delighted to find out that seventy point two preferred improved cook stove that they can fill that they can fill with firewood due to its affordability and accessibility. Um, about ninety five percent of the household agree to change from their current cooking to improved cook stove. Then, awareness campaign proud to the introduction. Prior to the project introduction, we also organized an awareness campaign. Awareness campaign was done to get the community aware of the project goal and their consent for participation in the next stage of the project. Through the contact and relationship earlier built in each of the communities, the leaders assisted us in assembling the women together for awareness campaign. The incestation focused on the benefits of the efficient cook stove, such as reducing firewood collection and consumption, hence reducing prey on natural forest and ultimately mitigation of climate change. So we also try to sensitize them about the benefit of the efficient cook stove. Well, at least it will reduce to us as a forester, to all that conserve our diversity, is our joy that our biodiversity are being conserved. And also that they know that they will not be, it will reduce their frequency, the frame, to reduce, um, even to reduce their stress, instead of going the way, they, at least three to five times in the week, they go to the forest to collect firewood. And with this improved cook stove, it will greatly reduce their dependence on the forest. Because with little, with just little piece of firewood, they will have their food on. So we try to sensitize them about the benefits that comes with this, with this adoption of this improved cook stove. Public demonstration on production of the clay stove, that is this improved cook stove, this is a picture Represented visit to Victoria, um, chat about it. This is a Victoria section of the production. So here we are producing the blocks, the clay blocks. We then we put with that we teach them how to produce the clay block, how to bring it together. The practical demonstration on how to make bricks for production of the efficient. Cook stove were, were carried out in the three villages, namely Akeusola, Budu, Are, and Huameji. The practical sections are the community included active informant of the children, youth, and youth, women, and men. It's also the pictorial section. It's one woman. It's these are children. This is one woman. These are children. So then assessment and feedback. This is the second stage of our research, which is the last stage. A total of 30 households, 10 households per communities, were randomly selected for evaluation of introduction and adoption of the efficient cook stove. 
The household selected were informed to keep using the efficient cook stove for adequate feedback. So after the introduction of the improved cook stove, so after we left, we tried to let them know that they should continue. We selected 30 household as our sample survey, as our, as our, for the second survey. So we selected 30 household as a sample. Then we let them understand that they should please to continue using the, they should make sure they are very frequent about the usage of the improved book stuff, such that we have enough feedback and adequate feedback when we come back. And Tetsi also, when we inform them that they are the, they, we inform each household about their participation in the, in the research. So these 30 households were selected, 10 households from each community. Survey of 30 households was carried out to investigate level of adoption of the introduced efficient cook stove. A semi-structure questionnaire was designed and administered to the selected household for a period of two months. The survey involves monitoring of the usage and advantages of the newly introduced cook stove over the traditional three stone cook stove and the challenges encountered in the use of the efficient cook stove. These are, this is what we discover. We discover that 77.4% of the sampled women had had created awareness of the new stove, of the new stove to their family and friends within and outside their communities. So this really wowed us. So so amazing that of this sample remains. Oh, it means that it shows that they were very excited. They have seen the benefits. They have experienced the benefits of this improved cook stove for them to further create awareness among the other communities and for, that to, and for them to further create awareness and to sensitize other communities shows that they themselves they have seen they, they have experienced the benefit of this improved cook stove among some of the ways the women suggested in improving efficiency of the introduced cook stove include increasing the size to accommodate large commercial cooking, adding of cement to the bricks to make the cook stove stronger and withstand damage by direct rainfall, among others. So they gave us suggestions that about the size, concerning the size of the improved cook stoves. And they also commented about, uh, about the durability that probably should hard cement to heat so that when the rainfall, it will not have felt the brick. Then environmental education in schools. Due to the issue of COVID-19, preliminary environmental education was conducted in one secondary school. The school was Bukola and Saro Islam High School, located at Budo Are, which is one of the communities under the project, under the project. Presentation was made to the teachers on benefit of the improved and efficient cook stove. Questions were entertained after the presentation and copies of the poster that detailed stages on making of the efficient cook stove. Sorry. Questions were entertained after the presentation and copies of the poster that detailed the stages of making the efficient customers. Also, presentation was separately made to the students, and this took place under a tree in the school compound to create natural interactive environment. Also, interaction with the student focused on the benefit of the cook stove, and this was followed by questions and answers section. It is envisaged that the full environmental education with seminar and practical sections shall be carried out under the third reward grants of these projects. Thank you very much.
for listening to my presentation. So this is a this is the pictorial section of the students in the secondary school. Thank you.